So you might have been wondering as to whether we could have a Cartesian of equation of a line in three dimensions. And yes, you can. But the first thing that we should probably do is think about going back to 2D. And here is a vector of equation of a line in 2D. Can we convert this back into Cartesian form? OK, so into our good old y equals mx plus c, effectively. So the way that you do this is you think, right, well, what does R represent? Remember, R represents x, y. So we've got x, y equals 2, 1 plus lambda lots of minus 3, 2. OK, so we've got a top equation and a bottom equation. x equals 2 minus 3 lambda y equals 1 plus 2 lambda. So effectively, what you're working with here are parametric equations. So if you haven't met parametric equations yet in A-level maths, then uh, this is kind of giving you a bit of a precursor to it. If you have, then hopefully you're seeing the link here, where lambda is acting like our parameter. So if I then want to go from these parametric equations to a Cartesian equation, I can rearrange them both to get lambda equals. So for this one, I could subtract 2 from both sides and divide both sides by minus 3. And for this one, lambda would be equal to subtract 1 from both sides and divide through by 2. So the lambdas have to be equal to one another. So x take away 2 over minus 3 must be equal to y minus 1 over 2. OK, so this is effectively the Cartesian equation for the line. Now, we're not used to using it in this form, of course, but you can kind of see where things are linking in, where the 1 and the 2, well, let's say 2 and the 1 rather, are relating directly to the position vector, and the minus 3, 2 are relating directly, directly to the direction vector. Now we can rearrange this to get it into the form that we all know and love, y equals mx plus c if we want to, multiply both sides by 2, multiply both sides by minus 3, then get the 3y onto this side, uh, subtract 2x from both sides, add 4 to both sides, and divide through by 3. OK, so y is equal to minus 2 thirds x plus 7 thirds. And that would be the equation of the line going through that, that is equivalent to this line here. OK, now at this stage, right, uh, when we're in 3D, this is a, as about as good as we're going to get it, OK? Um, as we will see when we look at this example here, OK? So we're going to use the same idea. So here we've got R, which we know represents X, Y, Z. And we've got 8, 1, minus 2, plus mu, times minus 3, 2, 4. So we've got a top row, x equals 8, take away 3, mu. We've got a middle row, y is equal to 1, plus 2, mu. And we've got a bottom row, z is equal to minus 2, plus 4, mu. So we've got three parametric equations. We can rearrange each of these to get mu equals in the same way as we did before for the lambda. So mu is equal to subtract 8 from both sides and divide through by minus 3. And here we will subtract 1 from both sides and divide through by 2. And here we will add 2 to both sides and divide through by 4. Now all of these mu's have to be the same. So x take away 8 over minus 3 is equal to y minus 1 over 2, which is equal to z plus 2 over 4. OK, and so this is the Cartesian equation for the line in 3D. OK, 
As you can see, because it's got two equal signs involved, it's quite cumbersome. Okay. Now, you could uh, multiply through by the denominators and get rid of those. Um, it's not really going to do you many favours. Okay. This is usually this is the um, structure that we would expect to see um, for a Cartesian equation in 3D. It's kind of how it's left because otherwise um, you're just muddling it around and making it more complicated than it needs to be, okay? Because it's already fairly cumbersome. So if you want to do this in general, in general we would have a position vector, a1, a2, a3, plus lambda times uh, a direction vector, d1, d2, d3. So that is the general equation of a vector, uh, a general vector equation for a line of 3D. So its Cartesian form would be x take away a1 over d1, and then y, sorry, take away a2 over d2, equals z take away a3 over d3. So that's the vector equation. That's the Cartesian equation.